There's a little bit of butterflies in my stomach, but I think it's excitement. It, it's not nerves. It, it's just I'm excited for it. I don't feel nervous right now. That could change, we'll see. So far, it's been a pretty easy morning. We'll see what happens, but yeah, right now I'm just, I'm excited. I, I wanna get the day going and, and go from there. When we sat down to plan this wedding, Colton and I both said we'd been through two years of COVID and we just wanted to have a party. So that's what we're having today, is a big party and getting everyone we love together. It'll be a fun day, spending with friends and family and looking forward to the getting to get into the party and yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see Brittany when she walks down the aisle. Really excited to see that. Uh, just knowing Brittany, I know how in, like incredibly beautiful she's going to look. We met at Wolf Creek, Wolf Creek Golf Course. Um, Britt was serving there uh, and I was playing in a golf tournament. Chatted for a bit and then both of us went our separate ways. I thought this guy is perfect for me but he wasn't really interested. I was still in like my 10 year awkward phase, but then the tables had turned because then I got out of my awkward phase and then he was interested, so. I'd seen on Facebook, we were, we were friends that Brittany was in Medicine Hat. Oh my God, I'm perfect. There you go, I'm perfect. She agreed to go on a date with me or go for a drink, I guess, and we met up in Calgary. And yeah, that was the start of the long distance relationship. From our very first date, I just knew he was the guy I was going to marry. He's incredibly kind and caring, and he will put every person that he loves above him uh, and make sacrifices for himself to make sure that they are happy. He's funny, he's outgoing, he has no problem talking to anyone, and he has a lot of patience for me, which I really appreciate. So Britt is tall, beautiful brunette, very outgoing, very well-spoken, kind-hearted. She's a farm girl and loves, loves and has a, a passion for agriculture. She has worked incredibly hard and sacrificed a lot to get, get where she's at right now. Looks good, does it feel secure? When he speaks to you, you feel like you're really connected to him and I feel like we have a lot of the same family values and things we want out of life. So when we did have our first date and we got to talk about, you know, what he'd been doing since we'd first met and what I'd been doing, I just felt this connection like this is the type of man I've always wanted. Britt, I love you. I hope you're having fantastic time with uh, your friends and family out getting ready. I know you're going to look incredibly beautiful. Uh, I'm very excited for the day and yeah, we'll, we'll see you in a couple hours. I love you. I can't wait to see you because I finally, I finally found my person who makes all of my days better. Can you spin around for me? <laughs> Brittany, when you first agreed to meet me for a drink, I knew what I had to offer, so poor lighting and bringing a puppy were my only chance. As everyone here today is witness to, it worked. I still give 90% of the credit for our relationship to Penny. The fact that you came straight from your family's bowl sale to our first date sealed the deal for me. Although you far prefer heels to rubber boots, it's good to know that you have no problem trading them out when you need to. This is what I love about you most. It's literally the screensaver on my phone. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world to have met someone like you.
I love you, Brittany Lynn Matika, and I'm so happy that we're here today to celebrate with our friends and family. Celebrate our love with our friends and family. You've always been supportive and encouraging of my career goals. If we have to put your love of farming above mine, just know I'm willing to give it all up just for a life with you. I saw you stand. Living life with you is a blessing and I will never know how I got so lucky to now have you as my husband. It's been 1,623 days of my favorite good mornings and good nights from you and I look forward to hearing you say it every day for the rest of my life. Brittany, Brian, and I are so excited to see you and Colton grow as a couple. We see the love the two of you have for each other, and it warms our hearts to know Colton has found his soulmate for life. So Colton truly stole my heart on Mother's Day of 2019 when he sent me a text thanking me for bringing Brittany into the world. It's my turn now to thank you, Colton. You not only took Brittany off my hands, but you took over Mom's <laughs> moving service. Please stand and join us as we welcome the new Mr. and Mrs. Brow. my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Colton, Brittany, you may kiss each other. <laughs>